how long have you been working for High Peak Radio? So I've been working for High Peak Radio uh, about an, almost three years now uh, in total, uh, working there since I graduated from university, and uh, ever since then just been uh, working away at High Peak Radio. Has anything changed since you've started reporting on how you report on sport? Um, I think it's been, uh, it's more, you know, um, these days a lot of social media is uh, the main reason, you know, to get people attracted to, you know, uh, sport, and especially football in, in general. A lot of people and obviously having their opinions and what happens uh, in the game. And uh, obviously, um, instead of, you know, when you do something like report on a match or you do something, you have to make sure, you know, you get most of your information now from, the, you know, websites, social media, you know, reactions from fans as well. It's it, That's, a, you know, a big crucial part of, uh, the, I think, media these days. Why do you think social media has had such a big effect? I think it's just because it's uh, blown up in, in recent years. I mean, you know, back in the day, the internet was popular, but it wasn't as popular as it was. And obviously, uh, not many people could like voice their opinions on something. You know, you know, you've got uh, these days player Twitter accounts and stuff like that, where people can either, you know, either send abuse that they have done, people known have done, or you know, just uh, wish people well. And I think, you know, that does affect the way that um, you know people can get involved in talking to, say, for example, journalists or um, um, commentators in regards to what their thoughts on a certain individual match or just um, anything really in sport. As a media outlet, do you think radio has changed as much as TV has? I don't think um, radio has as much. I mean, you know, we're still behind the uh, microphone. We're not in front of the TV. And obviously, with TV, you know, you've got all the little graphics and everything else which pops up while you just, uh, on radio, you kind of say it how it is, really. I mean, fair enough, yeah, you try and get as many people uh, involved and as listening as possible, to, you know, to try and, you know, um, entice listeners and to try and get people excited about a certain uh, thing. Um, but I don't think it's changed that much in the last few years. You've already mentioned about social media. Do you think there'll be anything else in the future that will change how sport is reported on that much, as much as that has? I think, you know, obviously, um, you, we've, you know, back in the days, you used to have stuff on, like, teletext and things, and nowadays, you know, people can get involved. You always have automatic updates on social media. Um, yeah, I think, it, you know, it is changing slowly, but surely, you know, you can get more up-to-date of what's happening, you know, uh, second or minute by minute, in a certain, uh, you know, for example, in a football match or in a, a you know, a sports race or, or anything like that, and, you know, it can just um, keep you up to date more on, on social media than it did back in the past.